The Chinese occupation stopped me from getting a proper education. I went to a Chinese school. But if we didn't understand, the teachers didn't care. They abused us by hitting us on our heads with dirty brooms. And they beat us up. I had a Chinese police shooting. I saw many 10 years old, 11 years old monk. They push this monk. Some monk's eye coming out. The soldiers in the window shooting. I saw very close one Tibetan young girl. She shoot her heart. Some Tibetan woman give baby milk. They shoot baby, shoot monk. Just kill him. And the police very angry. And they put electric shock in their mouth. Electric and push everywhere. All the military soldiers had this weapon. They put electric shock in the ear, in the head, in my eye. Probably part in, inside put the electric, then put your mouth. And they beat metal stick. They just beat our head. <laughs>
Then, when we realised the Chinese were shooting at us, I got really scared. I patted Kelsang on the back and said, please, go faster. We're in big trouble. The Chinese are chasing after us. The reception centre staff asked me, what was the name of the dead nun? I was very shocked and I replied, what dead nun are you talking about? But deep down I knew, the only one nun was left behind. So it must be her. For five days I hadn't known Kelsang was dead. I just cried and cried. Ah, Lu, Ji, Lu, Ni, Ling, La, Rang, Wa, Zang, Ma, Lu, 